good afternoon um today i thought i'd share something that i bought recently off of amazon which is this this is how it came as well this is the um 48 color um cor i can't spell it cor i know or is it co or no i know yeah co or no um they're like discs they all fit together in this. This is one of the cheapest um, paints that I've bought and I thought I'd test it today and we'll see what it's like. Um, it's got written on the bottom. Um, I think they're watercolour. I'm pretty sure they are and they just screw off. Now I've got arthritis in my hands so it's going to be quite difficult. I haven't tested any of these yet. They are coming apart. There we go. Look at that. Let's get these tops off. Lay down, love. Lay down. It's alright, my dog's walking about. Right, there's all the colours. So if I put them all onto a tray, hang on, I've got a tray here, but it's got everything on it. If I put them onto an old tray I use for crafting, let's try and put all the sort of colours together. So, like that. Well, greens are there. That's supposed to be up there. Right, well, there. So you get four sort of palettes with, uh, what's that, six colours in each, and then the top. And they all screw together. So if I just get my little bottle of water and just wet them, as you can see off to the side here, I've just done an experiment with some, um, oh, what do you call it? You know, the hot glue gun. And I've used moulds. You know when you tell someone not to message you when you're trying to film and they keep messaging you? Well, that's what's going on in the background at the moment. Right, well, we're going to get these nice and... so we can get the colour, get them nice and wet. And give them a minute to soak in. And then we can test them. So if I put them to one side and grab some paper, I'll still put them there. Actually, if I move these, I can put them that side and you'll be able to see which ones I dip into. See, I'm not prepared for anything today. Right, there we go. I've got water all over the table, but it doesn't matter. Right, let's get one sheet of paper. I'll try and do it on this. I've uh, got a couple of paint brushes here. Right, let's move everything in and make sure you're in frame. Right, these, I've got a little pot of water here and I've got some napkins here. That's what I just dab off on. Right, so let's start with the lighter colours. Let's do this yellow. Should have gone for the white first. Let's see what this is like. Let's see. This company makes um, inks as well, so these are supposed to be very pigmented. So let's just see. It might take a bit longer to settle in, but I am scrubbing that ink out at the moment. Yeah, I can see the yellow there. You can see the. Can you see it? No. There we go. So it is working. That's very dull though. It's just like a normal, normal yellow watercolour. Right, let's try the other one. They're very, um, very dry feeling. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. There we go. There we've got some. 
now I want to see if they dry chalky as well that's a lot better that's a nice one um should we do one palette at a time then it's a shame that they didn't put like the orange in here with the yellows and maybe the white because look there's some more yellows over here let's try these yellows then I don't know why they're all broken up all over the place the colors yeah that's much better isn't it that yellow there all right let's dab that off um let's try this dark one here I shall stick that out, yeah. Let's put some more on there, there. Hang on. There we go. So that's the yellows. Should we try the white and see? See what it's like. You won't probably be able to see that. Yeah, I can see it a little bit, just a little tiny bit. See what they're like as they're drying out anyway um so we've done the yellows um let's go back to doing the other colors um so there's a pink here this is like um a dust more like a dusty pink ah oh, there we go yeah Um, any more pinks in there? There's this sort of mauvey pink, like purpley pink here. Let's test that. Yeah. Let's put a bit more on that and see. Yeah, from light to dark. See, so there's the problem is there's no numbers. There's no um like names of them so you just don't know you just use them blind really like if you want a purple you just go to your purples problem is they're mixed up there's one here there's one over there um you know that's a purpley pink there they're all in different palettes it's a, it's a shame they didn't make them so you could slide them into the the different palettes so you've got your colour combinations, you've got to unscrew them all to see which you want. There's blues, greys and black in there. There's blues, um, there's a, gr well, silver there. And then you've got like a tan colour and a purple and a dark brown. You've got greens in there, brown. You've got greens in there, browns and a blue. They could have put them two greens in there to match them up so all the greens were together. I, d I really don't know but they are starting to dry now and they don't feel ch that chalky they feel fine actually and this is just on copier paper I'm doing this on I'm not even doing it on watercolor paper at all um let's try another color let's go for um let's say a red they're starting to dry already some of them and I, I had spritzed them down quite well right let's try this red oh yeah look at that so if we keep going so it dries a bit yeah it goes like pink so if we that was the one I was using yeah so to dark to light be able to see that better on the greens. I like doing the greens for that. But you, you can see there. Okay. What it's like so far. And that's a nice red actually. Nice rich red. Um what else can we do? Let's do a green then, shall we? Um now in there we've got I like a green. Let's try and grab some of that. Um, we'll do it here. This is like a mossy green. There's no colour, so you, you just don't know. And then let's try and put more on the top bit 
on the top layer so you can see right there you can see if it'll focus they are they are lovely and rich colors they are ink like ink some of them like the lighter yellows and the white barely visible of course they're not going to be that visible on paper um let's try one of these is that blue or purple um let's try this one this is a blue let's try that oh that's a nice color i haven't got a lot of water on my brush right let's try that Maybe I should have used the other brush because it was bigger. Yeah. Uh, let's put a bit more on the top bit. Right. Okay. It's nice. Maybe I'll use the other brush and not because it's got a slight angle on it. Now my water's looking muddy. Um, let's try. I'm interested in this this colour here. It's like an aqua blue. Let's just uh, give that a try. Right. Let's put a bit more on there. Yeah, that's a bit. That's not very opaque but that, that's not too bad let's get a richer colour um, let's try one of these greens here let's try this green which is like a leaf green like a garden green See, the water I've already put on there was drying them out already. And this paintbrush, I don't know if this paintbrush is scratchy. Well, I mean, it's near enough new, but there's bubbles in the top of that paint. And I don't know why. Right, see. Right, let's try the top. Might need some more water on that. Let's hold it up. There we go. They are nice. They, they are like ink. They are like um, ink colours. And they're the same. They dry very quick. I've got no heating on in there. And it's just normal temperature and it's raining outside. And that is dry already and um, it doesn't feel too bad even on this normal paper um, let's do this purple color I'll just wet this brush a little bit more I mean really I should have left them for 10 minutes to soak usually I do because then you get a rich color right Try that. It's a pretty purple. I want it to go a bit dry so it goes a bit thicker. Right, let's give it a second. And then I'll show you. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's plenty of colours in there. That there is a grey and there is one that looks like silver so I'm going to try that one in a minute there we go that's not dry yet as you can see it's soaking wet I'm going to change my paper out now but that's what we've got so far they're quite rich in colour you know I think for the price now these were on Amazon there's a 48 set they don't come in any packaging, they just come in as they are in, in the um, screw lid. Um, 
I think $14.99 is not bad at all for types of paints like that, you know? It's cheap, it's cheerful. I mean, I've spent tons on paint before, absolutely tons. I bought some paints last year, I can't even remember which brand. But they were absolutely dreadful and they were expensive as well. This is like when you test watercolour pencils and all that, some are really not so nice. Yes, this is a silver because I can see the shimmer in it. Alright, let's get try and get some of that pigment up and test it. Now this is over watered now. Alright, let's see what we can do. It's very over watered. I've put too much water in it. We'll have to give that a minute to dry off for a minute. Let's try and scrape it along because I haven't. Right, let's do another colour and then I'll roll it up and show you. Hang on, my water's getting filthy now. It's got all that murky grey colour. Um, shall we do, say, orange? I haven't tested an orange yet. We'll do the light orange. Hardly any water on that one. Oh, that's nice. And then while we're at it, and I will hold it up in a minute. Hang on, I haven't got all the bits out of that and I'm going to need another bit of tissue in a minute. Let's do the darker orange. This is like your Halloween sort of orange. I will stick that like your burnt orange. Stick that underneath. Oh, that's lovely. Right, hang on. Right, so we've got the silver, which is still drying, and then the burnt orange and the normal orange. We'll have to come back to that silver because it is absolutely soaked. It is starting to dry. It will be drying about probably two minutes or something. Um, did we test that pink? Can't remember. Yeah, I think we did. Um, there looks like a gold there. See, the, the silver's over here and the gold's in there. Um, and that's completely dried out now. I, I spritzed these down really well. And now they're all dry again. They're like chalk in the um, in the palettes. I'll give them a good spritz over. I mean, even my table's soaking wet. And they've already dried most of them. Right, let's try and get this up and then we can test that there. And that looks more like a bronze than a gold. Like a copper colour. Okay. I'm going to have to leave that one to dry. Right, I will be right back because I'm going to change my water. 